Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Assurant. Today I'm going to tie a blue quill wet fly. The hook that I have in the vise, this is the Lively Leg 720, size 12. It is a barbless nymph hook. It is two extra strong and one extra short. And being one extra short, it's actually, the shank is actually a size 14. But we have that size 12 gap there. The thread I'm going to use, this is just Danville, and this is actually 6 aught. And it's a blue dawn or a gray. I'm going to start that and bring that back to the tail. Remember, always hold that thread at an angle so you get some nice tight wraps. And then you could go ahead and break it off. Now for the tail, I'm going to use Blue Dunn Hackle. Just take that hackle and stand them up. You grab them there and just grab them all at the same time. And this will align the tips up for you. You can see they're aligned there. And pull them off. I'll measure them to the size, the length of the shank. We're going to tie them on. Now before I go too far up, I'm going to trim them because that's going to be a little bit long. And I left the tag long so I have a nice level body. And then bring our thread back. You can actually build a taper with your thread there if you want. I don't think it'll matter a whole lot. For the body, I'm going to take a bleached peacock hurl. And all of the little barbels are stripped off it. And this just happened to be a bleached white one. I got these white peacock hurl or peacock eyes from a site on eBay that sold feathers for weddings. A bridal site or something like that. It's for, they sell stuff for centerpieces for weddings. We're gonna tie this in and bring our thread up to the front. I'm gonna put a little bit of head cement on there. And then we're going to wrap our peacock. Gonna take it a little, little easy around that back section, around the point of the hook. A little bit too much of the. I could. There we go. Whoop. Get that back. Okay, and this peacock hurl is long, so I can actually slide it through my fingers, and I'm maintaining the pressure, but I'm not over pressurizing, putting too much pressure on that stem or that hurl. and bring that up. You could even take that up further than it needs to go because there's not it's not adding a lot of bulk there. And you want to stop at about one eye length from the eye of the hook and then you can tie that down. Get a beautiful uh, segmented body there. And you can, if you can get a hold of it, you can break it off. Now for the hackle, I have a Blue Dunn hackle. You want one that's got pretty good amount of web. So if you have a Blue Dunn hen, you can use that. I don't have a Blue Dunn hen. So I'm going to use this very small 
and webby dry fly hackle. It is small in length, the barbels are still kind of long. And then I'm going to put my hackle pliers on there and give this a wrap. If it's possible, you want to stroke them towards the rear. And we're going to tie that off. Get rid of those hackle pliers. I can fold this back. Put a few wraps in front. And break off that. excess. You can hold the hackle fibers back and come back just one wrap on them so that they're going towards the rear. Now we're going to take a feather from a right wing goose quill and a left wing goose quill and we're going to cut two slips of that. I'm actually going to take them from up top here more because of the color. And we're going to take those slips and we're going to line them up at the tips. We're going to measure that off. We want that wing to go just into the tail. Going to hold that. Bring my thread back just a little bit. Hold that tight. Pull it straight down. You can see them kind of lift up in the front. I'm going to trim off the excess. Trim that nice and close. Now I can make the head. Just hide all of the wing material. Take my whip finish. Go ahead and whip finish this. Trim this off and put a little bit of head cement on there. This fly is also a good fly to use a wet fly fished under the surface, you know, as a wet fly during a spinner fall, but you want to keep it close to the surface because a lot of those spinners also get drowned, so to speak. They're dead, but they get washed under. And here we have the blue quill wet fly. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Please leave comments, questions, suggestions. Please visit my sponsors. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.